Thank you guys. I've been looking at you since last week. I want to apologize about the miscommunication we had last week. Communication made in cops as a WAW championship. I know, I apologize. Gold. I'm so sorry. So lonely. There is no mistakes. Are you sure that it was a mistake last week? Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right, all right. Yo, all right? Listen. All right, listen. Okay, mistakes. It was an accident. You know, it was an accident. All right? Mistakes and accidents, my friend. They're the same freaking thing. What are you talking about? You know what? I could say both things. I could say it was an accident because accidents happen. If it was a mistake, well, it was a mistake to mess with payback. Oh, my heart's beating really bad. You know what? <laughs> you know, speak a heartbeat. Have you heard the rumors about the next week? Rumors? What rumors? rumors? About the next, oh, next week main event? Another, another chance. What main event? Another chance. Another chance. Another chance. One more chance. One more chance. One more chance. You know what? What? I can tell why you interfered yourself. In FL's title defense last week. You know what? I haven't heard anything about you taking a rematch, rematch anytime soon. You're just protecting Epo until Doomsday, you son of a bitch. What are you protecting Epo? What are you stupid? It doesn't matter who I face at Doomsday. It could be Epo. I'll just train in my rematch for a floating title shot. I'll face anybody at Doomsday. Did you say Doomsday? Doomsday? No. Doomsday? Doomsday? Alright, alright, I did say Doomsday. But you gotta look at Apple's record. He's fucking horrible. He's like the loser of losers at Doomsday. He hasn't won since 2001. But look, guys, we have a couple weeks to figure this out. With us against Apple, we can do this. Apple will not walk out champion if we're together. Listen, my friend, there is no us. There is us. And then there is you. And then there is Apple. No intertwining. There's payback, and then there's everybody else. So don't say us unless it's... Okay, okay, fine, fine. We'll work on that. But what about tonight? We got a four-man set of death with Gino and Flags. Me and you, we're going to need this. No. No. So you know what? Why don't you make a little game plan with your little buddy there? I heard you two are old pals, you know? <laughs> All right. Tonight, man. Yeah, why don't you team up with Gino? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm working on it, okay? You're working on it? Uh, you know, just forget it. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Goodbye, Puppet Master. I love those movies, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be funny. There's like eight of them. It's Master of Puppets, you shitheads. What did you say? Shitheads? Shitheads? Shit hey, get, hey, Jay, come back here, man. I'm trying to tell you something. What are you talking about you tonight? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. You don't diss us! You got shitheads? Shitheads? Puppet master? And oh, he's stepping back up to his feet! Get him! Ah! Oh! 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 oh, he's holding his leg! Oh, did it hurt? Don't Puppet it. master! <laughs> ah. Ah. You know what? Come here! Hold this for me! Hold it like that! Hold it like that? Hold it like that? Hold it like that! Hold it like that! Right? Oh, you gotta put it on there! Hey! Hey! Oh, okay, I'm holding it! Like this? Like this? Yeah! Four... Ah! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, man, you hurt my hand! My finger! My middle finger, too! Oh, well. Pump it, Max!
carnage in his early days with the cult of the dead. I don't know what that video is about. Nobody knows what that video is about. But now let's await the arrival of our next entrant here in this sudden death match. In three seconds, heading from Lowell, Massachusetts, the Dark Stalker, Christian Fane! And there we go. We have a little bit of musical difficulties there. Gino Diomedes being played again, but hey, that kind of makes sense because Sane wanted to be Gino. Gino wanted Sane to be him. Whatever, anyway. Christian Sane about to make his way up to the ring here. Gino Lubri announces him again. I don't know, what do we get? A special uh, long wait here or something? Where's Sane? Wait a second, here comes Moody Star rushing to the ring here. Zane's music still playing. Star hits the ring. What is going on here? Due to recent events, Christian Zane will not be participating in this contest. Well, it looks like Christian Zane has been taken out of this sudden death. Entry third, hailing from South Boston, Massachusetts. Accompanied by Gary Dealer and Spottle Joey Shiggles. And here come the two men responsible for Christian Sane not participating here in this sudden death match. It's payback. Dirty Dealer accompanying Joey Staples to the ring here tonight. He was backstage with Dirty Dealer called Christian Sane a puppet master. Christian Zane turned around and said it's Master of Puppets, you uh, pinheads, had an S to the beginning. And then it was then that Joey Staples attacked Christian Zane and Payback laid out an attack on Christian Zane, injuring him and eliminating him from tonight's sudden death. But now we await the arrival of our last participant, Freakin' Flack. Last but not least, the goat with the most, freaking Flax. Flax came up on the losing end last week against Joey Staples, and then later on in the night, he refereed. What is, he's up on the speaker. Ooh. And it looks like he felt good at all. As I was saying, freaking Flax was on the losing end of his match with Staples last week. And then he played special guest referee for Gino Diabetes and Charles Hatchet, in which he counted a little fast, and Hatchet lost the match. But here tonight, on Aftermath, it is a three-man sudden death now, not the four-man that we, uh, that was on my format. Christian Sane got taken out by Joey Staples and the Dirty Dealer. So now it will be three men to a sudden death. First pinfall or submission wins. Dirty dealer at ringside for Joey Staples. So let's get this one underway here on Aftermath. And of course, do not forget, coming up after this one, it'll be Echo coming out to the ring to address more rumors about the WAW Championship. I've never seen so many rumors surrounding one title after a guy won it. Oh, and here we go. This one's underway. Diomedes and Staples working together, attacking Flax. Oh, a kick to the head. Oh, and another kick to the head. Two kicks, one to the side, one to the front. Oh, one to the chest. Joey Staples and Gino Diomedes working together here. Double eye poke, double foot stomp. They're taking, they're taking tactics out of Flax's foot. What do we got here? Backbreaker setup. Gino on the top rope. Oh, and a light drop down across the knee. Freaking Flax nearly decapitated there by Gino Diomedes and Joey Staples. And the team works over. 
Teamwork stops there. They both went for covers, and they both shoved each other off. They agree to disagree, it looks like, and they go back to working together. But Flax is fighting off Gino and Staples. Staples has Flax. Oh, down he goes. Gold rush. Oh, kick right to the back of the head by Gino Diomedes. Thus far, it's been a two-on-one affair for Joey Staples and Gino Diomedes. Here we got here. Flax over the back. Oh, Gino gets caught by Flax coming in. And neckbreaker by freaking Flax. Swinging neckbreaker. He ducks a swing. Kick Staples right out of the ring, down to the floor. Flax coming in for a baseball slide, but he gets caught. And, oh, freaking Flax just got nailed by a flipping Gino Diomedes. This partnership between Gino and Staples can't last forever. It is sudden death. Cover by Diomedes, Staples there to break it up. Staples going for a cover. Diomedes there to break it up, and there it is. Partnership over. Gino with a forearm. Irish whip by Diomedes, spinning heel kick. Takes down Staples. Gino stomps away at Flax, going back after Staples. Forearm shots to the side of the head. It's like fighting Gary Coleman. Oh, the 100-pound Flax there with a double Bangkok and double Bulldog on Staples and Diomede. Come on. What is Flax attempting to do here? What the hell is this? What's going on? He's got a double single leg crab, a Boston crab between the two. Staples about to try and tap out Gino Diomedes holding his arm because he knows if he does, the match is over and Flax wins. And Flax gets flipped out by Staples and Diomedes. Flax now heading up to the top rope. What's he gonna go for here? Goes to the elbow, but nobody home. Staples now heading up to the top as well. And elbow drop as well. Nobody home for that one. Gino there stomping away at freaking Flax. Gino stomps away at both men. Heading to the outside. He's heading up to the top as well. Sits on down across both men. He goes for a cover across both. And we only get two. Gino gets thrown to the apron. Forearm shot in the corner on Flax. Gino up in the corner, but he gets shot down by freaking Flax. Gino now back up on the top rope. Oh, and he collides with freaking Flax and Joey Staples taking out both men. Dirty Dealer watching from ringside. Flax hits Gino, it's like a domino effect. Gino hits Staples. The domino effect continues. All three men hammering away at each other. Slowly rising back up to their feet. Freaking Flax going for a headstone. Doesn't happen. Flax trying for a cradle free fall. That doesn't happen. Oh, he gets hit with a headstone, though. Going for the headstone on Staples. Staples hammering away on Gino. Gino hammering away on Staples. Freaking Flax just got taken out with a headstone. 
Pino comes in with a spinning heel kick once again on Joey Staples. Hoists him up in the corner. What is he going for here out of the corner? Superplex, no way. Oh, and Gino gets thrown out from the corner by Joey Staples. Freaking flex now. Going after Gino. Toss salad on a Gino Diabetes. This one could be over if Flax goes for the cover. He's going for it, too. And we only get two. Gino pulled to the outside by the dirty dealer. Yo, Flax, come here. Come here, man. What are you doing? Freaking Flax in the ring. He's distracted by the dirty dealer. Staples from behind. Oh, and he just cold cock freaking Flax with a gold chain. He's got him now set up. Cradle free fall. This one should be over. We're going to cover. We're going to count. We get three. And Joey Staples gets a victory here in this sudden death match. He took out Zane before the match, and he just took off Flax to win the match. Joey Staples, unstoppable in recent weeks, the Hellbound champion. He heads to Doomsday to face the man who will be joining us next, Defo. Dirty Dealer blowing stunts into Flax's jacket. What a match this was, ladies and gentlemen. All three men put up valiant efforts. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, ever since he won the title, there's been rumors surrounding the title. Last week there were rumors, this week there were rumors. Last week it ended up being Dirty Dealer challenging the goal. What is going to happen with the 